Hi there, and welcome to the Cotswold Explorer. I'm Robin Shuckborough, and you find me in the small village of Slad, just near Stroud in Gloucestershire. Ross Bridget and I have travelled here for a reason. When we started making these films a couple of years ago now, we never imagined that we'd find ourselves in a kind of race against the dead hand of the developer. What we are astonished to discover is that the great Cotswold villages are being threatened with huge overexpansion. So what we've done today is to come to one of the villages that has won the battle against the threat of developers. We're going to show you round. We're going to have a little look at the Woolpack Inn, which is one of the most famous pubs in this part of the world. And the reason, of course, is that Laurie Lee was both brought up here and lived here during his retirement. It's one of the most romantic and wonderful villages in the whole of the Cotswolds. Come with me, we'll show you around. I was set down from the carrier's cart at the age of three, and there, with a sense of bewilderment and terror, my life in the village began. The June grass amongst which I stood was taller than I was, and I wept. I'd never been so close to grass before. It towered above me and all around me, each blade tattooed with tiger skins of sunlight. It was knife-edged, dark, and a wicked green, thick as a forest, and alive with grasshoppers that chirped and chattered and leapt through the air like monkeys. So wrote Laurie Lee at the start of his autobiographical book, Cider with Rosie. This book, a description of what it was like to grow up in a small country village at the end of the First World War, formed, for many of my generation, and indeed subsequent generations, part of our own childhoods. A romanticised description of life, but one so astute and perceptive that no one reading this book could fail to glean some improved understanding of the human condition. Rescued by his sisters from the long grass, Lee continues, that was the day we came to the village, in the summer of the last year of the First World War, to a cottage that stood in a half acre of garden on a steep bank above a lake. A cottage with three floors and a cellar, and a treasure in the walls with a pump and apple trees, syringa and strawberries, rooks in the chimneys, frogs in the cellar, mushrooms on the ceiling, and all for three and sixpence a week. As you can see, the beauty of this village remains almost completely unspoiled. It's a rare survival of a small valley community close to the industrial heart of the early wool industry that stands as an incredible reminder of a simpler time. And yet, even here, the developer has threatened. Over the last ten years, the Slad Valley people and their supporters have fought off attempts to develop on the land in between here and Stroud. So far, they've been successful, but we know how persistent these developers are, and there is no room for complacency. Whilst it's perfectly clear that we as a nation have failed our population drastically by not ensuring enough homes were built in the past, it is absolutely vital we don't allow this terrible failure to engender an even greater catastrophe, the devastation of the very thing that makes people want to live and work in this beautiful country. Our plans to make short films on the villages of this wonderful region, somewhere between documentary and travelogue, have changed just a little. We find ourselves trying instead to chronicle the potential ruination of the Cotswolds and just possibly, with your help, to put a break on the destructive forces of greed that threaten them. Well, we've had an amazing time in Slad. I'm really pleased that they managed to fight off the developer's threat. It's such a beautiful place, highly romantic. The pint of beer in the Woolpack behind me was delicious. And Ross and I have made ourselves very fit by wandering up and down this extraordinary steep valley. Remember, if you want to see any more of our, our work, you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. We are on YouTube, of course, and our website is thecotswoldexplorer.co.uk. Look for us next week. Take care.